From baseball to past presidents, author Kevin McCann spends his time saving the local history of Tennessee. We caught up with Kevin to talk about his latest project and hear his secrets to his success. My love for local history started uh, actually when I went to college at Union University in Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, I had a professor that, um, that wanted us to do a local history project. When you think of history, you think of uh, the big figures like Andrew Jackson, James K. Polk. The topics I pick for, for, uh, for publishing usually are stem from my love of local history, lo local history, regional history, history of the state of Tennessee. Kevin has researched and authored local and regional history books for 15 years. But when he lost his full-time job in 2012, he decided to make his childhood dream of becoming a publisher a reality. When I started Bravery Publishing in 2012, uh, I, I had already had uh, my own books that I had written, but I'd always, it was always my goal to, uh, to, bring, uh, to publish other authors and to bring their works to light. The publications range from city and county histories to baseball and even the Civil War, all privately funded until Kevin's most recent project, of course, you, you fund your own research and you fund your own travel expenses that, that it takes to, to, um, to write the book. Online crowdfunding is a, is a good, very good tool uh, for authors to use uh, that, would help, that helps them with, with some of those startup expenses or helps them uh, if, if they're halfway to their goal, uh, if they get enough people that are, that are interested in the subject and interested in the book, uh, that, that you know, they'll go ahead and, and actually put their dollars in ahead of time. I think as much local history that can be shared as possible should be, and uh, you know, different people have different uh, different interests in local history. I actually had the opportunity to, to speak with uh, baseball players, professional baseball players who played in the 1930s and 1940s, and um, you know, unfortunately, in, since in the 20, in the 15 years since I've done that research, uh, many of them have passed away. But but I, I've always. I thought it was fortunate that I had that opportunity, that I was working on that book project at that particular time in their lives and in my life, and I was able to record their memories and, and, and write it into the pages of a book uh, for, for not only their family members, for baseball fans, but for myself too, because, uh, because I, I, enjoyed that. I enjoyed that baseball history. He spends most of his time at the Tennessee State Library, which currently has an exhibit on baseball in Tennessee and features three of Kevin's books. There's just so many resources, so many original manuscripts that you can actually look at and, and you can examine for yourself. And uh, it's just, uh, for anyone who loves history, the State Archives is, is just a really, really cool place to, to, to go. He named the company after his kids. And what did they think about this local historian? Whenever there's a question in social studies, uh, it, you know, dad is always the one that has to, has to help them out. And you can check out other selections from Tennessee's history at braybepublishing.com.